Hey guys, Joe B Sharp. Today we're gonna to be mounting a pair of ice flies with a pair of Coronation Ace lights. So let's get into it. So what we're trying to do here uh, is we're trying to align the blades basically for when we're doing the tack on uh, with the adjustment slots. The adjustment slots are the larger, wider holes here and here so that we can adjust the skate blade back and forth depending on if it's bent or if it's aligned properly. So what we're doing is kind of aligning it with the stitching seams that are on the front and the back of these skates. Now, unfortunately with the Dea, uh, for whatever reason, uh, their soles come in a lot um, mounted incorrectly. So think about a skate being built by itself and then they put the sole on afterwards. It's kind of like an ice cream cone with an ice cream glove being stuck on top. So if you've got your cone and the ice cream's not necessarily centered, well, welcome to our skates. So we see that a lot with these guys. So I just put a little bit of pressure on the blade and drill through the front two adjustment slots. And then I'm gonna drill through the back two adjustment slots. Wanna make sure that everything's aligned. You wanna be drilling straight up and down. You wanna be drilling vertically. I wanna make sure I got through this guy. There we go. I pull the blade off, clear it from underneath of it. That way we know that the blade will sit flat on the skate, just like that. Now for mounting an Adea skate, you wanna make sure you're using the Adea screws, not the screws that come with Wilson. Wilson screws are great, but they're not the dual helix high lows that are built for these guys. Always make sure in these kind of skates that you're using a ratcheting action. Uh, my little DeWalt here, I set to nine so that it torques in properly without ripping the soles. Just like that. Sometimes you have to adjust it a little bit just so that it pulls everything down. I wanna make sure that the blades are mounted flat to the sole. And what we're gonna be doing is making sure that the blades are aligned directly up the center of the actual insole, which in this case they are not. So we're gonna adjust them slightly. Pop these a little bit. I'm gonna use a ruler. I wanna make sure everything's straight. We're gonna just twist it. We had to move it in slightly. That's what the adjustment slots are there for. this way they don't look like they're aligned straight but based on the actual soles and if I hold it up this way you can see that there's the toe pick and there's the heel and it's kind of hard to tell in the video but that's down the middle of the actual insole so we want to make sure that they can glide in a straight line right so uh, again that's that ice cream cone ice cube or ice cream on top okay so because these are thin soled skates uh, we want to make sure that we put the rest of the screws in when you're looking down from the top you can see that it was brown on the inside that's because we have taken the insoles out we don't want to drill through the insoles so make sure that if somebody's doing work on your skates and you've got a new pair of these or if you're a tech and you're working on these things and you're kind of new to it make sure you pull the insoles out so you don't poke holes in the insoles Just like that, we've got all the rest of the screws drilled in. And now we're gonna use the locking screws on these guys. I always do kind of a star pattern. So we go uh, inside of the toe, outside of the, towards the ball, and then we go toe again, and then instep. Pull off all the other stuff, make sure that everything is still straight. Think about these rubber soles, if they pull down, they kind of unlevel sometimes. We need now two screws for the heel here. Just like that. Just like that. So 
that's on there. Everything's straight. Blades are straight themselves. Put this up here. Blades are straight. That's what we want to see. Okay, so clean up our area a little bit. And now we do number two. Same thing. Line them with the stitching. One. There's the second front one. We're going to do the heel ones. We're going to make sure it's centered. There we go. Number two. So that squeal you heard. There's screws in here. Again, that's from our the actual sole itself. So that's just the drill bit that we're using punching the screws. So we're gonna put this on here. Again, a tack on. the stitching. Now it's going to be the alignment. Now we're going to put in the rest of the screws. Please subscribe, follow, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.